Hey everyone, I'm Brad Moore. I'm Bunnery, and, and this, this is IF Extra. So yesterday in the UK, it was official Christmas jumper day, and I still haven't found my actual Christmas jumper. I've had to make do with the stars today. And you're going to wear yours next week, aren't you? Yes, I, I'm saving mine for next week's video, which will be the one that's closest to Christmas. Yeah, that'd be cool. And also, quite exciting, today we're having the IFX Christmas party for the whole team. Yeah. And a couple of others. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, we say Christmas party. I mean, basically, mm -hmm. we're going off and doing an escape room. Um, and um, maybe, What's it about? Uh, it's, it's taken, I think. Ooh. Someone's being kidnapped. Right. We, we were going to do the... Um, uh, school of Witchcraft and Wizardry that totally isn't Harry Potter honest uh, for copyright purposes, mm. um, but they didn't have an appropriate slot. So, mm. uh, so yes, we're doing something really uh, dark and depressing, I think. But, nice. you know, it'd be fun. <laughs> then we might have a couple of drinks after, what do you think? Yeah, yeah. A bit of food, something festive. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that should be good. So, um, yeah. So, what have you that. been thinking about this week? Well, uh, one of the things that I, um, well, so I just need to sort of switch it back on really, um, is uh, item of the year. So you might remember last year, um, well, this time, no, this is, would be next week. Mm -hmm. So next, this time last year, next, next week, week yeah. <laughs> um, we decided to do a vote for item of the year, where we took all of the drawings and descriptions that had been um, picture of the week and description of the week, and then let you vote on which one you thought was best. Yeah. Uh, and then the following week, like the last video of the year, mm -hmm. uh, we had uh, like a little award ceremony. Yeah, um, that's quite cool. It had an envelope and everything. It was cool. Yeah, I remember that. It was a red one. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, we're going to do that again. So next week, starting next Saturday, yeah. you'll be able to see a list of every picture of the week and description of the week, and you get to vote on one of each, saying yeah. which you think is best. Uh, and um, okay. then we'll... You've got a whole week to... Mm -hmm. like so vote. you have a week to vote yeah. and then we announce it the following week. Yeah, just um, before the end of the year. Yeah. Uh, and the player who drew or described the most popular picture or description mm -hmm. uh, gets a little item of the year 2018. <gasps> wow, that'd be cool. It's just a bit of fun, really. Yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, we, uh, it's, it's really nice to look back over all of the things that have been done over the year. Mm -hmm. Cool. You kind of lose track. Of you do. It. You forget which I, ones are I think so. This, this is IF Extra 2018-50. Is it? How does that wow. even happen? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's cool. So there's only two left after this. Cool. Mm. Okay, so talking of awards, let's see who won this week's awards. Picture of the week this week goes to Katsuki Yuri for Black Beast Barks Brilliantly. <gasps> It looks like a dragon dog in silhouette. It looks amazing. Well done, Katsuki. My favourite description this week was Weeping Angels Love Christmas by Kid Spider 2099. It's a nice interpretation of Anvil's grey people there, but also I like the idea that maybe all the Weeping Angels ever wanted was just a nice Christmas tree. Nice work, Kid Spider 2099. Community pick of the week this week goes to Faith Song for Kiwi. This is a beautifully detailed picture of kiwi fruit cut in half. Looks amazing. Beautiful pink background too. Well done, Faith Song. Well deserved. Awesome stuff there as always. They were amazing. So I think now it is time to see what we talked about last week on the forums. So last week it was all about box sets. We just needed a few recommendations, really, because we're really into box sets, aren't we? Mm, yeah, we're kind of getting to the end of some yeah. of our stuff. We've just right. watched the last available episode of a series of unfortunate events. Little Lemony Snicket. Mm -hmm. They were fantastic. It's very cool. Okay. So Phantom suggests leverage or leverage. How do you say that? I think that <laughs> might be a UK-US thing. Yeah. We mm. say leverage, don't we? But they probably say leverage. leverage. But apparently it's like a modern day Robin Hood. I've never mm. even seen it mentioned, have you? Yeah, well, this this has come up before. Yeah. The only time I've seen it mentioned is Phantom talking about it previously. Yeah, we should um, really watch and that. And I was like, yeah, 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 we should check that out. We'll find that. Um, yes, we should. Yeah. Mm. What else have people said? Uh, well, Groovy Mama likes uh, Stargate. Well, loves Stargate. Mm. Uh, all the series, especially Atlantis. Um, have you I'm, seen that? Yeah, I mean, I, I watched all of SG-1, which was 
awesome. Uh, and then I, I probably got about halfway through Atlantis and then moved house or something, and I never actually went back to start watching it again. Mm -hmm. I did try and get back into it um, a couple of months ago, actually, because it's on Netflix or something. Um, but then I started finding that it had been so long since I'd seen it. You kind of lost the I, thread, really. I know, but then you go back and you start watching from the beginning, and you're like, yes, yes, I remember this bit. It's been on. But yeah, I should, I should get to get back into that. And I never watched anything after Atlantis mm -hmm. either. Apparently, Maxim W have been uh, checking out some Doctor Who series, mm. which we've done quite a few seasons. Well, we've done all of them now, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. So we, we've, we've actually caught up, caught to up real on life. All, of, all of New Who. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, we are actually up to date with what's been on the TV. I know, yeah. Mm. And what's this legend of Ang he's talking about? Um, that is, that's Avatar, isn't it? The, oh. the, the cartoon thing, not the James oh, Cameron thing. Mm -hmm. okay. It turns up that. in um, Interference quite mm. regularly. Yeah. Quite a few people are like fans of Stranger Things. Yeah, Stranger Things was awesome. Was Stranger good. Things 3 happening soon. Apparently. Yeah, we're not sure how that's going to be, but you know, can it be better than the other two? <laughs> you sometimes think, mm. should it stop? Yeah, yeah. You know, jump, the, jumping the shark and all that kind exactly. of business. Exactly, you've got to be careful mm. of that, haven't you? <laughs> but I've, I've enjoyed it so far. It's been really good. Yeah. Okay. So, shall we see what we're going to talk about in the forums this week? Following on from last week's question, this week we're asking if you can come up with a better name for an animal or plant, because they don't always suit the names they have. For example, is Danger Noodle more descriptive than plain old snake? If you'd like to chime in with that, then just head over to the general discussion forum. It's the pinned thread for the week, so you'll find it at the top of the thread list. It certainly is. Okay, so I think that's it for newsy type stuff this week. But um, don't forget, tomorrow the quiz is on Sunday as normal at 7 o'clock. And we're hoping to see you there. This week we're going to feature drawings by Nicole Foster, uh, Jake Wine, Quill Daisy Stairs, hi Quill, <laughs> Ketsui Yuri and Banana Chippy. Mm. <laughs> so if you want to see your pictures, come and join the quiz. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you've not taken part in the quiz before, then as Bunnery says, at uh, 7pm UK time uh, tomorrow, mm -hmm. uh, and that's on our Mixer channel at mixer.com slash interference. And it's basically uh, a little interactive general knowledge quiz. Uh, you get to play along by pressing whichever button you think is the right answer. And we give you 10 points for a correct answer and a bonus point if you're the fastest correct answer. So who won last week? Well, what we do is take all of those, add it up, and we do a leaderboard after each round and one at the very end. Mm -hmm. uh, and overall last week, uh, Grinning Goose 13 won um, with 197 points. That's a good score. Is, yeah, not bad. Mm -hmm. Almost hitting 200. Almost, Pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Jess FB was second on 173, and Phantom was 154 yeah. in third place. So we've got some interesting different topics this week. Yeah, each round is based on a drawing from Interference. Mm -hmm. So um, the artist that Bunnery mentioned earlier, she's taken one of their pictures and then made up a set of questions oh, around that. that. Yep. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, it's really good fun. It only, only takes about an hour. Um, we're normally about a little bit before seven, if you mm -hmm. want to join us for some pre-quiz chat. Yeah, pop up and uh, say hello. But yeah, yeah, it's all, all good fun. Uh, live and interactive. Okay. Every Sunday at 7 p.m. UK time, except <laughs> next week. So that will be the 23rd. Mm -hmm. We would normally be doing the quiz. I'm going to put it back by a date. So it's going to be on Monday the 24th. Christmas Eve quiz. Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. So might be a little bit festive or something, perhaps. Maybe. <laughs> uh, but yeah, combination of uh, we've got something on on the Sunday. Mm -hmm. And rather than trying to sort of work around that, we thought, well, actually, we should do Christmas Eve. Yeah. Because then anyone who's, you know, they're, they're in on Christmas Eve mm. and, you know, they wants to uh, kind of come and hang out with us, have a little bit of a virtual Christmas party. Yeah. thought that might be quite nice. We'll bring the sherry. Um, okay, cool, <laughs> sure. Um, awesome. Uh, so, um, so yeah, that will be the 23rd quiz will be on the 24th. So Monday, 24th, Christmas Eve. Um, Christmas quiz. Same time, seven? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think so. Um, yeah. so apologies to anyone that, that that sort of makes it a little bit awkward for, uh, with it not being the weekend. But hopefully that's who'll be off on the day and, you yeah, know, exactly. free in the daytime. So we'll uh, see and how then it goes. We'll be back to normal after that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I think that's all the news for this week, so uh, it just goes to say... Yeah, uh, I was also going to say, I was meant to say earlier, uh, mm -hmm. if you'd like to uh, join us for discussing any of these uh, odds and ends, want to have a chat about the quiz or the game or just any general nonsense, uh, remember you can join us on our Discord server. If you go to playinterference.com slash Discord, um, quite a few of the regulars are on there. Um, we're all on there and... Um, 
Yeah, there's all kinds of random stuff going on. There's um, lots of nerd chat, I've seen mm, that. Mm, <laughs> nerd chat, got a nerd chat channel where I whinge <laughs> about things and some of the other people who do uh, development uh, mm -hmm. complain as well. Um, talk about interference, talk about zeitgeist, the quiz, all kinds of stuff. Um, for some reason, there's a big thing of uh, making memes out of Ferret. Uh, I don't even remember how that started. Amber Hopkins was responsible, I think. Oh. Um, yeah. <laughs> cool. uh, so, yeah, that's quite cool. Cool. Uh, but aside from that, mm -hmm. if you're not already taking part in the game, then get involved at playinterference.com. Yes. You can also follow us on Twitter at PlayIFX or on Facebook at PlayInterference. We've also now got a Patreon page at patreon.com slash interference if you want to give us a bit of monthly support for the ongoing maintenance of the game, all the new things we add in, these videos, the quiz, and all of the other stuff that we do for you. Okay, so we'll see you next week. Yeah, have a great week. We'll see you next Saturday. Bye. Bye.